We saw two distinctive moments in the first of the two Democratic primary debates. The first was on health care, when the entire field was asked whether they would abolish private insurance, and only two candidates raised their hands, Elizabeth Warren and Bill de Blasio. And the second, of course, was a clash between Julian Castro and Beto O'Rourke on immigration. That's an issue that hasn't gotten a lot of focus in the Democratic field, and Julian Castro is one of the leading candidates in terms of releasing a particularly progressive immigration policy. And he got the opportunity to show it off tonight and really have a standout moment in the field. Candidates go into the debates wanting to avoid a gaffe or either have a breakout moment that could give them a big boost. There weren't any major gaffes tonight. I don't think we're going to see anybody sort of fall in the polls because of uh, Tuesday night's debate. But there was a major standout moment for Julian Castro on immigration, um, for instance. Cory Booker's team felt that he had a standout moment on gun control. Amy Klobuchar, in particular, spoke out on uh, abortion and got one of the biggest cheers in the room tonight. So those candidates may get more attention than they have in, in the past. They've been pulling in sort of the low single digits. Bill de Blasio was a surprise coming out of the first debate. I, I think he uh, was not taken particularly seriously when he got into the field. And uh, on the first debate, we sort of saw him go after a number of his opponents pretty aggressively in a way that uh, made him stand out and I think could get him more attention going forward. Trump was an interesting aspect of this debate because he was largely a non-aspect for at least the first hour or so. Near the end, when candidates started talking about immigration and foreign policy, he came into the conversation a little bit more, but we never heard him sort of called out by name. Uh, this was more of a contrast between the candidates on policies and on sort of tone and personal vision, and I think we're going to see that continue through the second night of debates. We're most likely going to see quite a few more fireworks uh, in debate night two because we've got two of the major front runners, Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders, standing side by side on that debate stage. In particular, Bernie Sanders has never been afraid of going after his opponents. We've already seen him go after Joe Biden in the past, and so having them side by side will be an interesting contrast. Um, among the rest of the field, there are a number of candidates that could also have a breakout moment, but that matchup will be the one to watch.